I flew over a thousand kilometer leaving Istanbul to see the mysterious Turkey's Far East. There is a little trace of Europe to be found in this vast, distant swathe of land, bordered by Syria, Iraq, Iran, Armenia, and Georgia. Turkey's Far East is foreign even to many of its countrymen. They say good night. I am in Kars, located in the far eastern part of Turkey. This is actually closer to the border of Georgia, Armenia, and Iran than to Istanbul itself. It's interesting to arrive in this very eastern part of the country. Majority of the people here are Kurdish, so the local language sounds very different to the Turkish language. I love this kind of cities where it's small, it's sort of more intimate. You, you're not so intimidated by the traffic or the vastness of the city. It's fascinating, isn't it? When you visit a country and an area that is closer to the border, usually you see a mixture of those areas. So the border itself are created by politicians and humans. And so if we think about it, they share a lot of similarities. Initially, they share a lot of like similar languages. I am standing sort of in front of the castle of cars. Can you believe that there's a castle in the middle of the city? And it's still going strong. It was built in around 1100, so over 800 years. Very few people actually visit this part of the country. Not only the tourists, but also the locals. So it's not only foreign to the foreigners itself, or travelers, but also to the, it's to the countrymen of Turkey. Regardless of any kind of presumptions that we usually have prior to traveling and what I find is that we fear what we don't know at times as we have arrived to the actual place it's not actually that jarring or bad so behind me is also an Armenian looks to be an Ar Armenian church if I'm not mistaken say hi hi <laughs> And Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Nam, yeah. Name? Mohsin. Mohsin. Mohsin was asking if I am a Turk. Uh, but I say, uh, Andonesi? Afghanistan. And Afghanistan. <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> and uh, even the dog is laying down because of the sun. Very nice. Mamnoon. Mamnoon. <laughs> the road to the castle. Slightly steep. It's incredible that this fortress or castle is opened 24 hours and there is no entrance fee. Hello, you're back. Oh, why are you whimpering? Let's go. I don't have food. Sorry. <gasps> Wow, oh, look at it. Oh, it's chilly. Wow, this is incredible. A beautiful spot to see the panoramic view of the car city, but also a great appreciation towards the historic building because this is sort of, I think if I'm not mistaken, um, a mix of uh, Armenian, Byzantine, Turkish, as well as Mongolian and Russian. <sighs> Crazy.
good morning, or they say good night in, right? Good night. Good night. I am currently in a car with the hotel owner that I'm cur currently staying at. This is Yusuf, so that I can go to Ani, which is quite a famous ruin in the eastern part of Turkey. <laughs> so we are stopping over for a fuel and uh, I just find it fascinating to be in a such wide flat land like this and um, the altitude of this area is quite high because it's about a thousand eight hundred So we have just arrived in Ani ruins. Armenia's border is just over there. The entrance fee to Ani ruins is 15 liras or equals to $2. And if you're interested to do the thing that I'm doing, you're able to do that by taxi or in my case, the, um, the, the hotel manager or the owner um, and pay about 200 lira. It is incredible to see the vastness of this ruins because it's widely spread out. This side is Turkey. And that other side is Armenia and the ruins is in the middle of this and if we can imagine the world without borders we can easily travel back and forth sadly Turkey and Armenia do not have official borders so you can't actually go to Armenia from Turkey Can you see the church behind me? It's incredible looking. It's an Armenian looking, Armenian architecture type of church. It was commissioned by a wealthy merchant. The church itself is called as the Church of St. Gregory and was completed in 1215. That's over 800 years and it's still going strong. And just right there is the border of Armenia. I couldn't help but think about the history of this now peaceful place while wandering around these remarkable ruins. Once the capital of medieval Armenia, this was the center of violent massacres of the Armenian people at the hand of the Ottoman Empire in the early 20th century. just so floored <laughs> to be standing here in this beautiful like no other remaining reverence and just the solitude the silence and the time that allows you to be mesmerized <laughs> at the same time feeling the cold the harsh winter and the thin air do you like exploring this part of the country where it's so close to the border and the architecture is meshes and the influences meshes into one to the other there is an overlapping culture between the armenian and the turkish As the juncture settlement between Turkish, Kurdish, Armenian, 
Georgian, even Russian. The buildings in cars comes in a great variety. Within the city itself, you see different faces as well. And according to the census of 2011, there were over 73,000 population. Many have been turned into, I think, like governmental building, but many have also been abandoned. The remaining buildings and structures that are still fully functioning. I think cars is also a major producer of dairy product because I've seen so many cheese, um, butter, Every shop sells either honey, cheese, wow. I would guess that the people who live in the outskirts of the city would come here so often to buy stuff. Let's get onto the bus. Oopsie. So it costs 250 liras. Less than what? about three cents we are back at the city center as you can see now it's the afternoon time and people are out and about yellow taxis which reminds me of iran <laughs> smile is the universal languages and the thing with the mask you can't really tell whether you're smiling or not and you have to really smile with your eyes in order for this other person to understand that you are coming with a friendly attitude and gesture that's the the thing i feel i miss the most the smiles between different people this is right at the heart and center of cars town and winter being that the day is shorter oopsie yeah i think this is museum but it's always been closed since the day i got here the sun is about to set i just want to say thank you so so much for watching this very special episode of car city and the surrounding area and my experience my experiences traveling in the far is part of turkey i hope that you like this kind of video make sure that you subscribe comment like and uh, yeah let me know what you think do you like this kind of video do you like this exposure uh, to the less visited areas of the country from the perspective of a, of a female solo traveler let me know what you think in the comment section down below see you again next time in the next episode i can't wait bye